What up, y'all? It's our first day out in Thousand Oaks with my mama. <laughs> Hello. So we're gonna go have some fun. Show my mom around the city. Do some funness. Oh, God. So we're at the mall. And my mom here, who's wearing her glasses, made me buy some glasses. She got some glasses for me. And as some of you guys know, I don't like glasses because I feel like I look arrogant when I put them on. I feel like I'm trying to be. Oh, I look at me. When you're only protecting your eyes from the UV rays. I'm protecting other people from your beaming arrogance. No, <laughs> kidding. I've always, I've always felt funny when I put on glasses. I don't know why. Or when he chews gum. Or when I chew gum. I feel funny. I feel arrogant when I do that too. How do I look? Do I look pretentious? <laughs> yeah. So we're at PF Chains right now, throwing down. Gorgeous day. Yeah, mama. You like it? Lisa. Yeah. Our food. Hey, everybody. We just got home from from um, the mall. From eating. the mall, from eating, from all that stuff. We're kind of kicking back on the patio right now. Lisa has hijacked my iPhone, and now she's playing this new game that we're both obsessed with. Called what's it called? Ragdoll or something, something like that. Like that. It's a lot of fun games on iPhone. Anyway, so we're kicking back. We're gonna strike, strike up the uh, fire pit in a little bit. Let me move my computer. My mom was just talking about all the, the nicknames she used to call me. She's gonna share a few of random nicknames. Bobby Peterson. <laughs> Bobby Peterson was the little schoolboy type. That's when his mom was younger. And I used to dress him all neat. And he just looked like a Bobby Peterson. <laughs> his little school books. Then there's Rebe Rodriguez. <laughs> Rebe Rodriguez is the dancer in Iman. When he was little, he could do all the Michael Jackson moves. And in my imagination, Rebe Rodriguez had really groovy hair and shiny shoes. <laughs> <laughs> my mom had backstories for these nicknames. And probably, you know, like a really neat jacket, you know, like Michael Jackson had, you know, kind of sparkly, rhinestone-y Rebe Rodriguez. Ow! I never even knew all of that. Bear. Bear. Dad, my dad still calls me Bear. Yeah. Cute as a button, and he's a little baby bear. <laughs> God, I'm never going to hear the end of this on YouTube. <laughs> and also, there's Puppy. Puppy. was I like Puppy. Puppy. And he called me Puppy because I was just so hyper and just so yeah. all over the place. Yeah. And clumsy. Well, you can't forget the most infamous one of them all, Hank. Oh, and Beachmont Mall. Oh. <laughs> when my mom was a baby, there was a... Uh, Pampers commercial, and the little baby's name was Hank, and he would cry when he would get wet. And the commercial said, Hanky was cranky. So, in mine, when he was little, you could tell when he was tired or frustrated or mad. His eyebrows would turn red, a <laughs> red line just like that behind his eyebrows. And go, uh oh, Hanky's cranky. <laughs> <laughs> and then just silly name, Beachmont Mall. Beachmont Mall is a mall in Cincinnati and Iman, sometimes I'll call him B-Mon and then that turned into Beachmont Mall. It's kind of silly. I was like, well, I'm a mall now? Poor little kid. <laughs> in a day, you would call it eight different names. But yeah. it was all in love and very fun. I had the oddest nicknames. We started talking about this because I call Lisa a bunch of nicknames. Mm -hmm. But then we got into my childhood nicknames. So if you guys Ever marry and have a little one? That poor little baby's gonna have ten names. <laughs> mm -hmm. His most famous one's gonna be "Hey you." <laughs> no, it will not. Hey you, clean your room. <laughs> hey y'all, we're outside now. Uh, we're just chilling next to the fire. My mom and I are having some wine. We're just having some fresh air, <laughs> and we're just sitting here talking about old stories of my childhood and just funny stuff like that. <laughs> and we were reminiscing back to a time when this lady in church gave me a book. Why did she give me that book in the first place? Um, growing Up. It was a book about growing up, but it was kind of like a book about sex, but for kids, it was kind of odd. And the book, like the book kind of explained how a man and woman have sex. <laughs> and like, it was really bizarre. What else did the book say? It was, it, it, it talked about masturbation and how to do it. I don't know why she gave me this book. I don't even remember what the deal was. I don't think she knew. No? Yeah, she gave me this book, and I took it to school, because I was like, wow! 
<laughs> I wish you would tell my friends. This is a book for kids that teaches you how to have sex and masturbate. And she went to my church and gave me this book. I took that book to school, showed it to everybody at court. I got in so much trouble. And my poor parents, mm. she did, my parents didn't really know about the book. We thought it was like, oh, thank you. It's a book about life. Hey, Here's a book. You know, they're just like, oh, Lady Church gave him a book. That's nice. They didn't know what was in that book. Well, but I went to school and showed everybody. And I got in so much trouble. <laughs> that's crazy. I almost forgot about that story. That's funny. <laughs> I was stirring my casserole. I heated up some casserole. And Lisa does not like this noise. You ready for it as I stir my casserole? That's disgusting. <laughs> does that noise bother you guys? <laughs>